Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be telling you 8 tips that will help you to optimize your Google Ads campaign. So let's get started. The number one tip in my list is to use keyword match types. I can't stress enough how important it is to use different keyword match types when you are running your Google Ads campaign. Uh, the reason being when you start a campaign, say for example, um, let's say you are running a search campaign, for example, website traffic, and then what you usually do is um, you set up your ad group and then you go to keywords, and then once you are done with your keyword research, you start adding, you know, broad match phrases like phrases like uh, SEO tools or you know SEO um, best SEO tools something like that. Now these are all broad match type keywords. And the problem with broad match type keywords is they tend to get a lot of wasteful clicks. So your ad will be triggered on many other irrelevant queries. For example, let's say you added a broad match keyword like SEO tools, then um, your ad might get cr triggered for cheap SEO tools or SEO tool discount codes or um, you know, SEO tools, um, 2017 uh, reviews, or you know, all those noisy keywords that will just completely waste your budget. And getting traffic from those people and from those clicks, um, it's not going to be helpful for your business. So, what you can do is you can use keyword match types with keyword match types. You can use you know broad match modifier like this. You can use exact match keywords. You can use phrase match keywords. Um, I have a complete tutorial on, on all the different keyword match types, um, but uh, this is just an example of how you can use different match types. And by using uh, different keyword match types, uh, it will help you to you know tighten your keywords and make sure that you get traffic only from relevant audience and it will just help you to um, stay focused in terms of um, who you need to target. So that's my number one tip, use keyword match types. The second one is, um, it's again related to keywords and the second one is to analyze your search terms report. Now um, let me pick an example or a campaign that I have already uh, ran let me see okay I think uh, I think this should work uh, okay anyways um, I don't have a campaign that has uh, search terms but what I'm saying is when you are running a campaign the second tip is um, all right the number two in my list is to analyze your search terms report. Now, once you are um, running with your ad campaign, after a couple of days or maybe even a day, you will start you know, getting data about what exactly people searched for and how they came to your website. And you can actually go to search terms tab in your campaign and over here, you will actually get to see a list of terms uh, that your audience searched on Google and uh, when they clicked on an on on that on your ad what was their what was the number of clicks impressions and uh, cost per click and if they converted and all the different data and basically it will help you understand if your audience is searching for those right keywords and um, if you were able to target the uh, the most relevant audience that matches your business so by analyzing your search terms report, you will get to know a lot of information and that will help you to um, you know, figure out if you need to tighten your um, keywords and if you need to make sure that um, if your ad requires addition of new keywords or deletion of few keywords. Um, so that's your number two, num that's your second tip about um, you know, ad optimization strategy that is to analyze your search terms report. The number three is to add negative keywords. Now this is, you know, again related to keywords because, uh, you know, Google ad is all about keywords, right? So um, 
and when it comes to search campaigns uh, with negative keywords you can click on this tab and if you see any wasteful clicks you can quickly select those keywords and then um, add it to a negative list and uh, what I recommend is to create a negative list uh, at an account level because your business is going to be the same right so you can create a negative list at an account level you can even create an, a negative list at a campaign and ad group level um, and once you start adding those negative keyword list um, you will start building a resource that you can just utilize in your next campaign uh, so that you don't have to uh, research your search terms report and again uh, add your negative keywords uh, again and again on every single campaign so that's your third tip the fourth tip I have is to use dynamic keyword insertion now this is again a fantastic way to increase your click-through rate so um, basically with dynamic keyword insertion what you can do is um, I'm going to show an example of dynamic keyword extension sorry dynamic dynamic, dynamic keyword uh, insertion so when you are creating your ad um, you can basically provide your you know website URL over here but then in your headline you can do something like best add a square bracket and then you add a default text okay now what you're doing is um, anytime um, you when your user searches for a keyword and if that keyword is in your ad group um, then then this default headline will be replaced uh, and it will contain the exact keyword that the user searched for um, so let me give you an example okay so um, here's an example so let's say someone searches for dark chocolate bar then your default headline buy chocolate will be replaced by buy dark chocolate the sec second example is uh, if someone searches for sugar free chocolate your ad will be your headline will say buy sugar free chocolate uh, because the keyword sugar free chocolate is already in your ad group so what I'm trying to say is with dynamic keyword insertion you are able to update your headline and description in real time and it will contain the exact keywords uh, that the user is searching for and uh, that helps to improve your click-through rate and overall it is going to improve and increase your quality score and if you increase your ad quality score you are able to decrease the cost per click for that keyword for that ad and basically you are reducing the cost per acquisition and by reducing the cost per acquisition you're becoming more profitable so it goes a long way like it starts from adding keyword dynamic keyword insertion increasing the click-through rate increasing the quality score decreasing the cost cost per click thereby decreasing the cost per acquisition and finally being more profitable so uh, I know it's a it's a lot of you know interconnection but by adding dynamic keyword insertion um, it's one of the best way to optimize your Google ad campaign the next one in my list is to use ad extensions now I can't stress enough how important it is to use ad extensions um, so let me show you how to create extensions so once you are you know in your search campaign or display campaign or shopping campaign or video campaign you can click on the extensions tab hit plus and look at that there are so many different types of uh, extensions so basically with site link extension you can provide additional links about your website for example a link to about us link to contact page or link to a discount page or anything that is important and um, that just helps your users to go to that exact page from the ad itself so let me give you an example I'm just searching for SEO tools and I should see an ad all right look at that these are site link extensions uh, and it just helps to you know uh, maximize your real estate of your ad um, the second you know extension type is call out extension and um, let me see if there are any call out extensions okay I can't see any call out extension ads over here 
But anyways, uh, with Callout extension, you can provide more information. Um, for example, free shipping, discount, uh, or you know, 24 by by 7 customer support, or something like that. You know, those are Callout extension examples. Then you have structured snippet. Um, it it has like um, let's say you have different services like um, you provide. Uh, let's say you are a digital marketing agency and some of the services that you provide are, uh, you know, search engine marketing, pay-per-click advertisement, uh, SEO, web development, like these are all, you know, services that you provide and you can add them in a nice structured snippet format and it just stands out. Then you have call extension. You can directly um, help people to call your business, which is awesome. You have message extension. You have location extension for promoting your local store. Uh, you have affiliate loca location extension to promote your dealer or look retailer that is selling your product. You have price extension where sometimes people are interested in knowing the exact price of a product or a service in the ad itself. It helps to it helps to you know improve your conversion rate. So you can have price extension. You have app extension. Let's say you want to promote uh, a new app for your business um, and you want to increase your downloads. You can use app extension. And then finally, you have promotion extension, which is suitable for e-commerce store. Uh, so by using, you know, site link or by using extensions, you are maximizing the real estate of your ad. You are again increasing the click-through rate. And as I mentioned earlier, by increasing the click-through rate and increasing quality of your ad, um, you are just, you know, trying to decrease the cost per acquisition. So that's your next step. Um, the fifth one is uh, use branded advertisement or create branded ads. So um, based on a couple of experience that I had, um, it's it's really important to you know run a branded ad campaign. What I mean is, um, for example, I'm just taking an example of SEMrush. So if I type SEMrush, look at that. So SEMrush is a company and I use a branded keyword, I use the brand name SEMrush and I'm getting to see their ad. Um, now you might say like SEMrush is such a popular tool that Google will always you know show their brand um, and their website um, at the number one spot but that's not always the case you know SEMrush has so many different competitors and they might use SEMrush as a keyword in their um, Google ad and sometimes you know a competitor's branded advertisement might be on top of SEMrush so basically you know uh, they try to outrank and uh, they try to compete with each other so by using a branded advertisement you are making making sure that you always stays stay at the top um, and running a branded advertisement is cheap because um, the quality score is extremely high for that keyword because obviously it's your brand um, and you just make sure that um, you are always at the top on the search engine result page. So make sure to use um, you know branded keywords and run a branded ad campaign. So that's my next tip. Um, then the, the seventh tip I ha have is to utilize um, the maximum amount of headlines and descriptions possible. So what I mean is, um, so I have this ad group and then I'm gonna create a new ad. All right, so Google uh, provides this headline three, which was not an option earlier. So basically you need to make sure that you use all the different headlines or use all the different um, options over here and maximize um, your options because sometimes you know Google will rotate it like the headline 3 might not show um, and um, look at that headline 3 appears after headline 2 at the top um, and sometimes Google might not show it but it's really good to have all these three headlines and again you can also have two, two different descriptions so you can use your first description to provide more information about the ad, but then your second description can be a clear call to action saying, visit website, learn more, 
by visiting our website or shop now and get 20% off or a clear call to action that will help people to um, decide and uh, take an action on your ad. So that's my seventh tip. M maximize the options that Google provides. Um, in terms of Google search ads, um, I want to show you quickly about what are the different options in terms of search. Now look at this. Um, I am editing a Google um, display campaign and as you can see the more headlines you have like Google provides up to five headlines and up to wow look at that up to five descriptions when it comes to display campaign so why not I mean definitely make sure that you add um, all the details and utilize all the different headlines and description and it will basically help you to increase your ad strength so now you see how important it is to just fill out all the details um, so right now I'm not you know I'm not doing a good job in terms of images if I add more images um, this will be full strength so that's my number seventh tip and finally um, my last tip is to conduct a B testing now you might say why a B test uh, well when it comes to you know running ads on Google or any other platform like Facebook um, you always wonder like what is the best strategy or what what is the best creative elements or what are the best audience targeting or placement type well it's hard to find out because your business is unique you know you if you are in a niche audience or if you're in a niche industry um, your audience might be totally different than someone else who is in an automobile industry or someone else who is in a, um, a digital marketing service industry you know those are all generic there might be some unique cases but if you really want to find out what works, works best for you um, I highly suggest you know running two different ad groups targeting two different audiences um, or your next campaign can have two different ad groups tar uh, targeting or using two different placement types so what I'm trying to say is conduct a B testing use multiple different ad groups uh, test only one variable and then find out what is the working version or which ad or which audience or which placement is getting you more results um, and by doing that you are able to figure out the best combination of keywords ads placement audience and targeting and once you get the winning combination you can utilize that for your next campaign and then you again start testing so it's like a cycle you know you find out the winning combination you do a b testing and then you again um, you know run some tests and optimize and that way you can you can decide based on data and not based on your you know preconceived notion or not based on a random blog post or even not based on me because um, I might tell that you know um, audience placement uh, website audience placement works well as compared to YouTube channel placement and I might be completely wrong so your business is unique so you need to test different things and find out what works best for you so that's it guys those are my eight um, Google ad optimization tips and techniques that I personally use uh, to optimize my campaign and um, if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and any comments or likes are much appreciated and I'll see you next time